official, the football season, the regular season has come to a close. Yeah, it's Packers choked time. again. Why did I fucking tell you? You know Good. what? We should get more money. Good. Yeah, you know, we he's going to ask more money. for it. You know, he's going to ask for it. Um, but two teams that got in, also winning their divisions, um, played against each other last Monday night. I don't know if you saw I'm a, no. Even if you don't like sports or football, you've heard the news. It was news. all over. Yes. All over. Uh, DeMar Hamlin, the 24-year-old uh, safety for the Buffalo Bills, uh, putting on a uh, tackle on T. Higgins, I believe, and going down, getting right back up, and then two seconds hits the ground again. Um, you know, going into cardiac arrest. Uh, I did a little bit of uh, research on what the heck even happened there. Did he have a condition or anything like that? Right. Apparently, it was the way he fell, the blow of hitting the turf. And they say, too, that that kind of turf of that field is is a little different than most. It's almost like playing on concrete when you hit it. Yeah. And the way, do you see, you saw the hit I and saw, the fall. Yeah, I saw the whole... It was well, if you over. haven't, right. Yeah. If you haven't yet, it, the way he went down was kind of on his side, so they said... You, could have been his scapula that could have just like you know kind of tapped the heart mm. and and caused an arrhythmia but what's weird about that is the cardiac cardiac experts said the blow to his chest may have sent his heart into an arrhythmia that injury is unusual the chest must be struck in a brief moment about 20 milliseconds while the heart is relaxing so in between beats so think about how that, that's insane the chances of this happening you know, your heart is in the resting state. Like, beat, beat. So that, when it comes back, that's when the hit happened. That's interesting that 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 you read that because the biggest thing was, was the hit itself was because it was the receiver's head that went into the, the uh, uh, what's his fucking name? Herman? Harmon? <laughs> Hamlin. Hamlin. Sorry. Hamlin's chest. And it was at the exact point where in between beating is when that impact happened. So, I, like, that was the initial when it came out. It mm. was because if you saw the receiver's head went into uh, Hamlin's chest. Oh, okay. Because I was like, thinking and it was, it was the like, fall like, on no, the side. It, no. It just, that's what I kept, no. they kept showing. And it was like, and, and they said it was like a one in a million chance that you hit it at a certain time in between beats right. or whatever. Right. So okay. that was the initial what I heard that they try to have, you know. Scary stuff, though. I mean, I've never, I mean, you look at all the players, too. All their reactions, their faces. Some of them have tears coming out. No, because no one wants to see that. No one, wa no but that's one what wants I mean. to see that. that. Was, they were all terrified. Nine minutes of CPR on the field till they could restart the heart and get him somewhat yeah. stable to move him to critical yeah. care. Um, but during this little break, uh, Mr. Skip Bayless... Uh, got into some hot water because he decided to put out a little tweet uh, while medical personnel was tending to Hamlin on the field. His tweet read, No doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of the game. But how? This late in the season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. Now, Shannon Sharp, his co-host on Undisputed, was a no-show. The next day, yeah, he was livid about it. not only him. All these other people came out and were, you know, were calling for him to be fired, calling for him to be canceled. A lot of this stuff was coming back up, um, and I kind of get why for Shannon Sharp a little bit, just because his his older brother, uh, when he was with uh, Green Bay, I believe in '94, Sterling Sharp suffered a uh, career-ending neck injury, and he was unresponsive on the field for a yeah. great length of time. Um, and then when he returned on the show that Wednesday, Sharp opens up with his little monologue about, you know, with his absence and everything like that. This hit home for him. Uh, it was a very personal thing. And then he mentioned that he didn't appreciate the tweet his co-host put out. And he's like, I, you know, I would hope that he would delete it or take it down. And Skip Bayless interrupted immediately. And he's like, I'm not taking it down. I stand by my tweet. And they started going at it again. So what are your thoughts? Insensitive... Or I. All right, let let's let's take it back. Let's back up a little bit to the game itself, okay? Okay. So, part of me is this: I. I don't like. I feel. I feel 
bad, and I hope that he gets better and he makes oh, a full recovery. Yeah, he's doing. He woke up. The right. first question he asked right. was, "Did we win the game?" So My I fucking guy. I man. played football for a couple years, and you know, it's just. And this is what I kind of don't feel uh, in any sport that you play. Okay, we we all take that risk of injury. True. Whether it's it's a frequent injury or something that rarely happens, concussion, we ACL, all know we yeah. all know the risk. And I and in high high school and college especially, it's more ruthless because at the end of the day, what's the goal? We want to play for the big leagues, right? Make the money. That that's just what it is. And unfortunately, for players who are making millions of dollars, and I know I'm going to hear the argument, well, he's only making seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay, well. That's fine, but he was playing well this year. He was going to get paid, yeah, and guess won. what? $750,000 is a lot of more money than a good amount of American, you know, uh, oh, yeah. citizens make. Yeah, right. or anybody. So, and honestly, that's part of the game. Like, it's, you know, I don't want him to, like, you know, die or be crippled or anything, but I'm not going to go on this, uh, you know, going to get uh, Hamlin jerseys and signs and all, right. all this other stuff to it. This is part of the game. And Before this hit, I will be, I guess, the first to say I'd never heard of this guy. Right. So I'm not a Bills fan, so, I mean, that right. doesn't well, really help. Well, but still, I've never heard of this guy. What it is, is the starter got hurt. Uh, earlier in the year, and he filled in. He was the the second string guy, and, and he came been, up, and he was playing big. okay. Like mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you know, he was going to be the next Deion Sanders, but you know, um, so yeah, it's just it's just it's really hard for me to like, and 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 again, I'm not trying to be like you know, oh fuck that guy, whatever, but you know, that's part of if you want to make that, that's why they get paid so much money. It you know, it it's a rough sport, mm -hmm. but as a you know, football, who played football, you know, that's what you sign up for. As my dad would say, it's not a contact sport, it's a collision right. sport. So, so then, so then let's get to Skip Bayless's tweet. I think, uh, it really wasn't a big deal. The tweet was nothing. Um, I, I don't think it I was. Disagree. I think the timing, maybe, yeah. he should have maybe done it, um, after or the, the the after the game, not like when he's being medically attentive. Well, yeah, that too. But here's Read the, the room, guy. But but in fairness, though, this is something that has never happened in an NFL game. So he to, to in Skip Bayless's mind, he's trying to say, how is the NFL going to handle this? How are they? What are they going to do with the game? Right. How are they going to handle it? He wasn't like dismissing Hamlin himself, right. but I think the timing was bad. But for him to get fired for for there's nothing. Oh, they're just calling. There, people no, are just there's you know, nothing outraged in there about, yeah. that's like, oh my god, dude, this guy needs to get fired, canceled, all that stuff. All you LeBron James and and all you other fuckers that came out and was like, this guy needs to get fired. Even Isaiah Thomas. I'm tell I'm telling you. You better hope the day never comes that it gets turned around on you. Mm. Just this, I'm telling you, this is, and, I, and I've said this episodes ago, this is the danger of cancer culture. It's all hot, it's all let's, let's cancel this guy, that guy, whatever. One day you're going to say something that you may think is cool. Or no a picture big deal, comes out. And it's going to come right back on you. It could. It so could. you better be fucking careful. Of who you want to can that like the I I think the timing was horrible I I can agree well, on that not only but the I don't timing, think the but, tweet itself was like okay, this guy no, sucks I, all right there, it was kind of about two questions that all of us honestly would be asking in our heads one is this guy oh, is he gonna be all right is he gonna survive right. is he even okay like the information that we're getting in that short amount of time and two do we finish the game. I know some people probably do, they're they're done watching it because they got freaked out too because everybody was crowding around it. Um, but a lot of eyeballs were on it. And I'm sure people were kind of asking themselves the same questions because you have to. Do we finish this? All right, no. But at the same time, not, not only the timing but the wording, I feel like he could have done it differently. Instead of he's all, immediately all about the game. Talk about the player first. Okay. You know what I mean. I, I, I hope he's all right. Did, I hope did, we can get this he... done quickly, and then I wonder if we're how are the players even going to be able to finish this game? Do we even finish this game? You could have asked it in that way during that time, and it would have been received in a completely different light, where instead where he's just like, 
But, but how? This le the game of let, this magnitude. Let me ask you this: Did he at, at all? Did he tweet at all about him during the game? Or this was the only tweet that Skip Bayless said during the game. He I just, I just want to ask. I think so. And then at the end of the night, after he got so much flack, he he then did a, a longer one about you know about Damar Hamlin and everything, very specific about him. But he doesn't even mention the guy by name in his tweet. I mean, I'm just I, saying. I, I, I like, mean, I mean, again, well, I get it. Is it's it a just... fireable offense? No, I don't agree with that. But it's a little. It's in poor taste. I think it's just bad timing. But interesting thing that I dug up, and I've also heard <laughs> about too. Up. Yeah, is um, the great uh, Hamlin here, who everyone you know loves to uh, praise or whatever. Um, it yeah. feels like you don't like the guy. Well. Here's the thing. There's a, there's a, there's a caveat to this because there's a thing that the NFL is doing that uh, ha was rubbing a lot of people the wrong way. The NFL is paying for all of his medical expenses, everything. Past players don't get that, and current players don't get that. So that's a problem in itself because as an NFL player, you part of your contract is you have to pay for all that. Mm. Well, the NFL saying no, we're going to pay for all that stuff. I did not know Which, that. there is a theory, which we can't verbally say, but I don't know if you heard it, but the um, there's a certain um, uh, row, row uh, that, you know, past two years, you know, get your get your uh, row rows, mm. you know? Uh, they're thinking that because the NFL demanded that all players get that, that that might be an issue. That might be a cause of, of why that happened. Um, you know, I can't say, we can't verbally right. say what it is, but that right. is a theory. Okay. So for the NFL to pay for all these medical expenses and to kind of keep it hush-hush. That's not very hush-hush. Well, well no, or well, this no. part, them paying for it, I didn't right, hear about right, Okay, I'm right. sorry. Because they want to monitor whatever gets out. Because it's or not whatever. so hush-hush now. Exactly. So, so, <laughs> so, Dang, so, so, there, so it's that rubbing a lot That would piss me off it, if, I was, just, uh, so, uh, if I was Sterling Sharp. I'm not, pay for my ex shit. Exactly. So I'm not gonna. I'm not buying into that theory yet because mm -hmm. then you would see a lot more NFL players. Yes. In that similar situation, I'm not just gonna take one and run with it. Right. But at the same time, when I'm seeing NFL pay for all of his medical bills and stuff, I mean, how many other people have career threat, uh, career ending injuries, and they don't get, they don't get fucking. Okay, well, you know, you had a good run. Right. So there's that. Another fantastic thing is him and his mom has a toy drive to raise, they were raising money for kids, for, for toys. Okay. I think it was a single kid that they wanted to raise money for toys for. Uh, for. The goal Just was, one kid? I, I believe so, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, you can read it all on ESPN too as well. Okay. Um, and the goal was $2,500. Well, because, you know, more than that. People, oh. people love giving. Right. And because of what had happened... Uh, they he raised over five million dollars. Got to pay for the medical expenses. Oh no 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 no! no. What a really big toy. No, his mom or whoever running that foundation decided yes, part of it will still go to that charity, but we're also going to use it for the family and anything that Hamlin needs, you know, to help quote unquote pay for medical expenses, even though that the NFL is paying for it. So they're, they're in a nice way saying that they're going to take all that money that people felt that they needed to donate to give. Right. And now they're reverting to what, get some the, groceries. what the foundation is for. Right. Which, here, and real quick, again, That's why do people feel the need to donate and give money to people who already have money? Like, I see Von Miller. He plays video games on Twitch, right? Okay. He's a millionaire. People throw hundreds of thousands of dollars at him. Wh why? Why is, that, why is that a thing? Why? I don't know. I tell homeless people to get a fucking job. I'm not giving you money. But yeah, we're going to get fucking millionaires more money. That's kind of like the bank. For what? If you don't have enough money, your funds are insufficient, then you get penalized more. But if you have like a good, solid amount, like you get bonuses and perks, right. we it, just give it, you even it's, more. It's ass backwards. Who's worth and who's worthless? Right. So, that's really all I want to say. I guess so, that's, that, that's a pretty good way of looking at uh, our society, sadly. It's ass backwards. 
It really is. That's and again, bizarre. I'm not I didn't saying, know that. And, and I, like I said, <laughs> I hope Hamlin uh, recovers. And he's, he is doing better. Yeah. Um, but for him, I, he's not playing the NFL ever again. Like, you don't think so? No. no? Yeah. A little too scary? Or just his uh, condition might worsen if he continues to play? Uh, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Whatever, whatever it is. And, and again, I mean, it could have been, you know, they covered a underlying issue that he had. And didn't want to say it because you mm -hmm. are a prospect and you are judged right, you how you are fitness and health wise. So he could have even had that. But you don't want to be a liability no way, no way for the plays, team, right? No way he plays again. Well, so he's done. Speaking of uh, controversial tweets with uh, the Skip Bayless situation, let's get to the matter at hand the man of the hour, the top G, if you will. Beautiful. Mr. Andrew Tate. Yes. Jesus. The Snaggletooth Misogynist. Good name for a band. Um, so I, if you don't know who this guy is, I didn't know who this guy was until maybe sometime last year I started seeing him pop up on social media and things like that. YouTube loves him. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of uh, <clears throat> kind of get up off your ass and, you know, get, you know, get the bag, get, you know, work yeah. hard kind of stuff. And I'm like, all right, well, you know, he's, he's got a whole, he's, very flashy, so I don't really like hearing those kinds of things from someone like that. But I get how that can help people that are having, you know, tough times or if they're trying to work towards something as somebody with success, like DJ Khaled, you know, like someone right. successful, but DJ Khaled's a lot more likable. Uh, because then I start seeing these videos and him being interviewed on podcasts, just being a complete ass. Um, but how this whole thing started was he decided to tweet at uh, Greta Thunberg, mm. who I'm not a fan of either. You know, she's some 20-year-old climate change activist, you know, dropped out of school. She She's not an expert in the field. She doesn't have a degree in any of this information, you know, and then decides to go up before the world and tell everybody what to do. Oh, well, she, she was, I think, 14 or 16 at that at time. At that time, when she yeah. Famous great 20. speech as she flew a big ass airplane to that speech. <laughs> I thought she sailed. But you know, hey, listen. Uh, yes. I thought she sailed. Well, I have the tweet in question here. This is how it starts. So a 36 year old. If you don't know who Andrew Tate is, first of all, a little background for you. Uh, Emery Andrew Tate the third. His name's Emery. <laughs> Be okay, better than fucking <laughs> half the names that the Kardashians Emery. have fucking named their kids. <laughs> Apple? What the fuck is that? Like, really? We just that fucking R? Okay. Yeah, Apple in my eye. Yeah. Uh, he's right. an American British social media personality, businessman, and former professional kickboxer. Uh, following his kickboxing career, he began offering paid courses and memberships through his website, later rose to fame as an internet celebrity. A self-described misogynist, Tate's controversial commentary has resulted in his suspension from several social media platforms. Uh, so, it, kickboxer, for me, is where it started. So I'm like, all right, was he even good? Well, dude, 6'3", 205. He's in good shape. I'll give him that for looking like, you know, a weird, like, sloth person. Uh, cruiserweight, light heavyweight division, uh, Luton, England, and Bucharest, Romania. Uh, he had 76 wins, 23 by knockout, 9 losses uh, in kickboxing. Oh, he's trash. Did a little MMA, 2 wins, 1 by knockout, 1 by decision, and 1 loss, only by decision. So he only did 3 MMAs, he tried that, didn't really work out because kickboxing is the forte. You know, we got all these other moves going on. Um, and then in 2016, while a guest on the British reality show Big Brother... Tate came under scrutiny for his homophobic and racist comments on Twitter. Also, a video apparently showing him hitting a woman with a belt caused him to be removed from the show after only six days. Tate and the woman both said they were friends and that the actions in the video were consensual. I'm sure, there wasn't a gun in the back on that situation. But the tweet that started this whole thing, he goes, he's 36, and he's tweeting at this girl. <laughs> so ridiculous. Side note, my mom is so banned from Twitter. She takes great oh. pride in that. What? What? What happened there? Oh, uh, you really can't, don't, can't really, say what you want. Don't, really don't want to know what she said about <laughs> right. that. I mean, I could tell you off camera, but that is not, right. yeah. From at Cobra Tate. Hello, at Greta Thunberg. 
Uh, I have, I keep saying Thunberg. Thunberg. Doesn't matter. Thumbelina. Doesn't matter. I Her have, name doesn't matter. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has a W16 8.0 liter quad turbo. Beautiful. My two Ferrari 812 Competizone. I don't know. I'm not a car guy. Just a uh, 6.5 liter uh, V12s. This is just the start. Please provide your email address so I can send a complete list of my car collection and their respective enormous emissions. Basically just... <laughs> Rubbing her nose in it. Right. She responds, yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. Whereas I know she was trying to make a joke there, but it's a little weird when your email address is smalldickenergy at getalife.com. I don't think that's really, I don't think that's really her It's email. not really, but I yeah. <laughs> it just, I mean, she was trying to make a joke, but it was just kind of like, because my mom did that one time. She called me son of a bitch. I was like, hey, you just called yourself a bitch. You know, it's like, what are you, uh, that didn't, I get what you're saying, but it didn't really land. Yeah. So then following that, he responds uh, to her comeback with a video message where he's sitting in his place and he's got like this Hugh Hefner red robe on, smoking a cigar, uh, talking about all the vehicles. And then he kind of snaps to someone off camera and motions over and they put these pizza boxes on the table and he's like you know make sure these boxes are not recycled you know how he talks so yeah i feel like he, you would need a poncho you, you're gonna be in the splash zone like if you're even this distance from him with that fucking tube like you're at you're at a you need a poncho yeah, we, like you're at a it. gallery we get, show. we get it you don't like him Ugh. we get it anyway um shortly after that he was arrested, him and his brother Tristan, on the uh, the allegations of human trafficking and rape uh, by the Romanian police because apparently Jerry's Pizza is local to them. Right. They're saying it came from the pizza box. Like, that's what got them to find these two guys. And, yeah, or no, they were in country in order to to arrest them on and investigate. Yeah what they were going to be doing. All right. Your thoughts. There's a lot to one pack here. First of all, we're going to say this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say this. I, it, I have a lot of questions, uh, because, uh, you have to raise questions because the minute that he starts butting heads with the left's face of climate change, when he starts butting heads with that particular person, then he gets arrested. I kind of put two and two together. He's been arrested, quote unquote, before for the same allegations multiple times. He always gets sent home free because there's no evidence. Right. His lawyer released a statement about an hour ago, actually, before we started filming this, saying right now that there, there's a lack of evidence. The... Right. The They're not right. giving the defense any of the information that they apparently have, right. which you're legally supposed to be sharing right. so that both parties can build a case, and that apparently hasn't happened. I think, I think they're, look, in Romania, they know, they know where the Tates live. It's not like they live in a, it's not like Epstein Island where no one knows where the fuck he's at, okay? Like, like we Some all know. Some people do. But, With so. that manifest, that I, flight and, manifest. And, and I think that, you know, let's be honest, there is a, um top 1% that controls everything and the minute that he started attacking because listen out of all the shit that he has said talking about his car collection isn't a oh my god but to who he was talking to oh we gotta we gotta get rid of this guy and it's again an interesting theory. And, and, so and again and this is what a pro this is a problem that that the world cannot like comprehend or any they don't look at patterns they don't look at history they don't look at any of that stuff right so if like the past let's just and i don't remember the numbers but if the past five times he's been arrested for the same things and at any of those times nothing has came up nothing has sticked there's no evidence anything at all mm -hmm. What makes it that this time... Oh, this is it. We got him. At right, some, not, at some yeah. point, you have to be like, okay, they're obvious, there's obviously they're in on this guy. Because, I'm going to be honest, he, he didn't get popular because he was uh, doing what we, what we did on his own. Mm. No, it was people liked what he was saying. 
or even disliked, and they were t sharing it to other people. And that's how he blew up. Okay. It wasn't like he just sat at home and right because like and to me, he his, came out of nowhere. And, I'm like, right, who's this right. fucking guy? He didn't sit there and just you know, but he just went on other people's podcasts, especially ones that like Fresh and Fit is where he started their uh, showdown in Miami. And they just they mostly talk about like relationships and differences between men and women. Mm -hmm. And he was just a guest on there, and that's how it started for him blowing up. And then and he was just on people's shows, right? So. People like what he's saying. Also, people don't like what he's saying. But at the same time... Very controversial figure. Makes for good uh, right. good hits. And there's a lot of former uh, mafia bosses that also do their own uh, podcasts and shows. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was and, I was like, what? And, and they've talked a little bit about the situation. And they go, you know, you have to think about that, that those allegations don't make sense. He's worth over $200 million dollars. He could literally have any woman he wants in the world. And he makes it clear that he can. He does. And he does. Yeah. And so for him to have like a a, a, a a sex trafficking thing to make money. I mean, he makes plenty of money with this sham of a university. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fucking pyramid scheme. It, it is. But listen, I mean, how many... I mean, Bill Clinton has, had it. Trump had it. True. Like yeah, that, Trump University. Yeah. So... You, you know, and and you know, there's nothing in that university that you can't get just watching him on podcasts. Mm. But I mean, well, it's interesting that you made that point because I wasn't thinking about that angle because I noticed he keeps referencing the fucking Matrix all the time. Right. Everything's the Matrix. Everything's, and I'm like, Jesus fucking Neo, like just take the fucking red pill, shut the fuck up. Right. But now that you're saying it like that, when he's like, the Matrix has sent their agents, when you're like, look at who they're talking to. These allegations have been placed on him and the family before. And it's the same. It's, it's never the same stuck. Ones. And right. Currently, like I like I was saying to you right now. Let's see the update. Yeah, an hour ago. No evidence for trafficking or rape charges against brothers, says lawyer. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, Eugen Vidiniak, who represents both brothers, told Romanian uh, news site Gandul the defense had not given the opportunity to study the prosecution file for the case. I will point this out from the beginning that even up to the present moment, the criminal investigation file has not been made available to us to ensure the effective defense of our clients. In this sense, I would like to point out, at least from this point of view, I'm also somehow amazed there's not a single piece of evidence, apart from the victim's statement, that leads to the idea that the crime of rape was committed. And earlier, local media reported the Tate brothers had been rushed to the hospital after a medical examination. So I don't know what's going on with there. They haven't released that right. yet. So, but there's no compelling evidence other than hearsay right. from one victim, apparently. Now, now let's look and So far. And again, this is this is why we're failing as a country, failing as a society, because we don't we don't look at patterns, history, anything from that. Okay, so here in America, okay, let's let's look at everyone that's been accused of stuff that he's committed. There's always a flock of fucking bitches coming out saying, "Oh, he did it to me back in '86, back in '92, whatever." Right? Okay. Who's coming out? Who who who's coming out? I would have to think a lot more than Bill Cosby, right? Mm -hmm. Who's coming? And he's about to do another comedy tour. Who's coming he's out? Ready. I'm not yeah. seeing a, a a flock of women from all over saying, "Yeah, he raped me. He did." It. Like I'm not seeing that. Mm. And and I and I'm gonna be completely honest here. I'm not saying that I'm a I fan fan of Andrew Tate. I do like some of the stuff that he says, and I appreciate it. Other stuff. It's just as bad as anything that Kanye West is saying. I was, okay? yeah. So, and 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 just because you like some of the things that he says doesn't mean oh that that guy's a, You're a fan, full yeah. supporter or whatever. No, I no, and and he didn't get he didn't okay. You don't make that amount of money being dumb. You have to have some form of intelligence, right? And again, especially when he breaks down. Men and women, relationships, that sort of stuff. Not all of it. Not all I, I don't, of it, but some I, of the, But, yeah, but no, there, there's some that at. you go, okay, that makes sense. Right. I see it that way. One of the real reasons why he even blew up, and, and a lot of guys appreciated it, was because 
you know, he was sticking up for guys, you know, because all, because there was, and it so happens, but there's a big trend that, you know, that women are doing. The these future is female. These feminists are doing, saying right. that all men are trash and pigs and all that stuff. So he was kind of so like So take that, me out. I'm the trash. He Come was on. that rare voice that kind of stood up for for the little guy, you know. To, I felt to a extent. little bit about that with Jordan Peterson when he first came out. Yes. And then, but similar with Andrew Tate, like, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of Jordan Peterson. But, but there's some, some of the things that, that he like, says yeah. about, like, young men not being encouraged or being... You know, shown kindness or love, which I did receive that, which is why I'm a lot different and able to see that kind of perspective. Whereas there are these mean, angry guys, and you're always like, well, how did he end up like that? Right. Because he was just, you know, slapped around or never given any encouragement, right. and they become a piece of shit. And you know, one of his quotes was like, you know, if you if you're impressed with, uh, or, if, or if you're amazed at what a strong man can do, it, you should see what weak men are capable of. Right. It's like, oh, shit, yeah. like, yeah, that's yeah, true. Like, they'll fuck everything up. So, like, what? trying to build men right. to being men and knowing that that's okay to be yourself. Or, 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 or saying this, you know. But no raping. You're, you're no not, means no. You're not going to get a beautiful woman or a good woman if you're sitting at home all day playing video games or being, you know, working at McDonald's, you know, whatever the fuck. Like, all right. One of one of his favorite anal uh, uh, analogies that he said that that I think resonates, especially with me because I'm a car guy, is he goes, "Look, w women want the Ferrari, but they want it to be as reliable as a Toyota Camry, and that doesn't that that doesn't that you can't get both. You can have the Ferrari, but expect problems. Mm. To where if you want real re uh." reliability, consistency, then you should get the Toyota Camry. So pretty much is saying the Ferraris, all the rich guys, and the Toyota Camry is the nine to fives, average guy, you know, isn't going to fucking... Right, I don't have the extra around. dough to pay for repairs, so I need something that's reliable and not going to fuck it, up it, as much. It, exactly. It'll happen, and and but, women need yeah. to understand that, because they all think that... They all uh, they all want the Ferrari. And they can have the reliability of the Camry. So when he breaks it down like that, I'm like, okay, that like that shit makes sense. Mm -hmm. and, and and again, so I hope uh, I don't think it's true. Now again, it might be. Well, I don't some know. Some of the things he said about women make it kind of right, leads and, me to believe right. that's like okay. But again, you don't really seem to but again where's hold them in high regard at all I, I understand that and and again this is why you have to be careful of who you idolize who's your model because again no one's perfect and you can like some of the stuff that he says but you right. don't have to idolize him right um but you know like i said there's a lot i of, say fucked up shit and then i say shit that people agree with and you know and i do see a lot of people come in support of him but I also see people that, you know, are like, you know, on the other end, you know, right. there's a good, there's a good, uh, there's a good mixture, especially like all the podcasters is like, some are like, haha, I knew it. He's a piece of shit. But then there's others, especially there's like women podcasters who defend Andrew Tate, like. That, that's been on his sh on their show. Okay. But defend that, no, I don't... Like, he's oh, not like that? Like, yeah, he's a douche, but he's not right. like that. Well, you, here's the thing, too. He's a douche. Go on. But part of it's a shtick. I was wondering part that. It, part, part of it is. He can't... It's got to be a character. Like, he can't... Part of it is. Like, how you go through life like that part and not get punched is. in the face? I mean, that would explain the teeth. But part of it is because, listen, you... To, to be successful in media and podcasting, anything like that, right? You have to raise some controversy. You need to have some hate. Mm. You have to have eyeballs because pe more people will, they watch, love to hate. will watch you if they hate you than if they like you. Does True. that make sense? Yeah, sadly. Because they, they want to see what thing you're going to say next and then they could fucking, you know, try, to, addiction, try right? to bring you down, right? right? It's like the media when, when Biden became president. You know, after Trump, it's kind of like, like we did fucking coke for four years, and now I have beer. Well, like, think of this. It's not the same. I need something. And well, then January sixth. Well, think of this. 
when Trump was president, CNN had fucking monster ratings. Right. Not because they had fucking a great line of fucking casters, because all they were doing like. was shitting on them. So the people who agreed on them watched it, and then the uh, the people who supported Trump watched CNN to see what trash To get mad at CNN. Exactly. That's <laughs> oh, why man. their ratings were so good. Uh. And then when Biden became president, that's why they barely get a million viewers on, on any... On any time slot. That's interesting. So, again, um, we'll see what happens. I mean, but like I said, until I see evidence, I've seen the patterns. It's true. I mean, you gotta have evidence. Nothing has, has, has sticked. And, right. and, and like I said, we're even now, we don't even, we don't really even need evidence. If you just have a bunch of women come out and say that that person did something, then guess what? That's good enough for them, right? Well, I'm not even seeing that. I'm, I, I, like, I'm, not, yeah. see, I'm not seeing anything. Statement from one victim according Look to Look at that. what happened to Deshaun Watson. Look at what happened with, uh, you know, Bill Cosby, uh, uh, Chris D'Elia, um, who's the other comedian, the fucking redhead? Uh, Carrot Top? Not care. It's a fucking um, oh Louis Louis, Louis C.K. I can't believe I was fucking. Thinking. <laughs> I, I mean, there, there, there's a there, right, but we're not seeing anything mm. with it. So, and again, I just think that he and he was being fun. Yeah, he was being douchey, but that's part of his shtick. It's but, part of mine too. But again, <laughs> but again, it's like you know. It's okay for the, you know, the, the, the Democrats to play this facade and, and lie to you to your face every day. And, you know, again, his tweet itself wasn't anything like crazy. He wasn't like, you know, p saying, oh, listen. You right, know, that'd you be like me tweeting at someone that I know is vegan and be like, Man, this guess what I have in my good. fridge right, right now? I've got, you know, Pierce two ribeyes. Did, that I've on his got... show. did he really? Remember that? He no. had... He had um, he had like some vegan uh, activist on, and he started eating meat at the table. He literally <laughs> had one of his producers bring a fucking fat triple burger, and he just—he's like, you know, all that talk really making me hungry for a burger. And he goes, and I'm doing my job by eating this cow so they don't fart to tear up right. the ozone. It's methane in the atmosphere. I right. used to say that to yeah. people in high school. <laughs> yeah. So he wasn't telling her to like kill herself or anything All like right. that. Just like, like, being a then dick. I can understand if you were doing that thing. All he was doing was again bragging about his car collection shit. Which listen, I'm gonna be honest, okay? If I had that sort of money, I might I Maybe might flaunt be a it a little too. bit, be proud of right. it. Right. Yeah. Right. Money he, changes people. But here's to an extent, but here's the thing. The reason the reason why is because there was a point in time, just like most of us, there's a struggle, right? Mm. There's a period where you're, it's, 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 you know, you're... It's never ending. It, it's, it's ends meet, you're struggling to find money, food, whatever. A lot of us have that, still go through it, or at least experience that in part of time. Yes. So, yes, when he does become, you know, when you do become successful in any way, fashion... Oh, yeah, again, I think some of it's a shtick. Right. But I, you know, I, I don't. But you know, he play you. You play a character. You when you hit a certain like we play characters. Sometimes. You, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like on certain topics, subjects, we we play characters because you know we're trying to be entertaining mm. and give you different perspectives. But we play a characters, even though we may not fully one hundred percent believe it. But we play a character. Well, that's what he's doing. Sometimes I get hot under the collar and, at this table, yeah. though. For real, well, for real. Yeah, which is natural. Well, yeah, you should too. agree with yeah. everything that a person says. Yeah, otherwise you're not same, thinking. Exactly. And, and that's with anybody. Trump, Biden, a news organization, uh, and Andrew Tate. Like, you shouldn't believe everything that a person says. Mm. And I will say, I, I will do a plug, even though he will probably never, ever listen to our show. But Joe Rogan had Dave Poitnoy on. <laughs> Portnoy. Portnoy. Whatever the fuck his <laughs> name is. You know, the bar stool guy. Whatever. Eat one bite. One you know. bite. Everybody knows the rules. Yeah, exactly. One, one sip. Everybody knows I mean, the rules. And they talked about it. And, you know, Portnoy even had him on his show. To where yes. he goes, I, there's times where I think he's he's smart, he's intelligent, and he makes good points. And then there's others where you just scratch shit. your head. Yeah. And Joe Rogan says the same thing. But, again, we've kind of, as a society, built this person up. Because, again, we share his content. We share his everything. We comment about what he what says. you mean we, white man? But I'm saying, as a society, we right. propped him up. So along the line, he does have a support. But, you know, again, 
I think there, and we can all agree on this, that there is a certain amount of people that run the world, run this show. And he, I think, poked, if it, was, if it wasn't her, and he poked at maybe Nancy Pelosi or poked at whoever... Might have but now had that a, she's not there anymore, might yeah. have had a similar thing. Maybe. So, I don't know. I'm just saying, there's. I don't think it's a straight well, black and white. He did it, right? Or he didn't do it. But again, if I'm saying that you're, uh, you know, uh, a thief, there's no evidence, and you know, five. I keep putting that claim on you, and there's no evidence. At some point in time, it you're goes, crying okay, wolf, apparently, exactly. Right. Like, the seventh time, just because I call you a thief, doesn't it's not going to make it true. Unless if I have physical evidence, or witnesses, or anything like that, that shows, yes, you stole from me. What if I was stealing sandwiches and I ate the evidence? You'll that, never know. That's true. <laughs> uh, well, speaking of some of the outrageous things that he says, let me throw... First of all, this is a good juxtaposition of the two sides of how you can feel about Andrew Tate sometimes. Okay, here's a quote from him that rings true, to me anyway. Okay, what do you want me to do? You want me to say if I agree, if I like it, dislike it, what do you, what do you need? Just, just well, no, me. you'll probably agree with oh, this okay. one. I'm just, these are two, just to show you the, the yin and yang, the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Jackass. Uh, okay, you know exactly what to expect from an enemy. An enemy, an enemy is going to attack you and you know how to deal with that. A friend, on the other hand, can betray you. Betrayal is much worse than an attack from an enemy for two reasons. One, it catches you by surprise, and the second thing is your friend knows you well enough to know your weaknesses and knows exactly how to strike. Right. right. I, I think all of us, that kind of resonates, okay? Yeah. So there's that. <clears throat> then we get this one. I do know how to administer CPR. However... I will not administer CPR unless you're a hot female. If you're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack and I don't really know you, you're going to die. No, even if you're a friend. If you're my friend, you can't just be a pussy. Well, I had a heart attack. Get the fuck up. Fuck's wrong with you. Go to the hospital <laughs> later. Have a drink, cigarette, cup of coffee, back in the game. Fucking having heart attacks near me, you little pussy. That's a shtick. That's not. That's I guess a that, but that. That's your shit. I guess in this because just theater, wait, huh? it's hard to tell the difference huh. now because some of the shit he says with such conviction, especially about women, being like with the OnlyFans comment, if, if if his woman does OnlyFans and he agrees to it, then he gets a cut because she belongs to him. Right. And then they're like, "So you view women as property?" Oh no 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 no, that's not what I said. Right. Okay, well then go ahead and explain right. it. Well, no. she belongs right. to him. Well, you're, that sounds like property, dude. Right. Does he belong to her? Well, no, not necessarily. So right. it's like, dude, you're contradicting yourself and then doubling down again. And I don't know what's but, legit but, but, and what's not right. anymore. But that was a shtick because especially the way that you read it. I know, the way I read it, it kind of helps. Take <laughs> Andrew Tate out of it and put me. I would say, <laughs> yeah, bro, would. think about it. Think about it. Don't take Andrew Tate out of it right. and put me on it. Well, I would say something like that to get a reaction, to get people talking Just about it. Just to fucking throw some salt in the game. Exactly. I got you. Well, I got a little mini game for us here to, to hopefully close us out, kind of lighten it up a little bit. No more rape and human trafficking. At least not yet. You are going to have to guess. Is this a quote from Andrew Tate? Or a different celebrity and or historical figure throughout time. These are all misogynistic quotes, and you're going to have to figure out, was it Tate or somebody else? So, let me pull this up here. Was Real. it Tate or Nate? <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Yeah. yeah. This fucking guy. But that is a good point that you that you raised that, that about like you saying some fucked up shit, because, yeah. You, you like I said, you hit when you hit a certain level of whatever it is, and mm. and a lot of lower guys do it too. They because reaction in in media right now, reaction sells. Uh, mm. You know, um, saying outlandish things sells. That's why at a point in time, that's why Kanye was so hot. It wasn't right. because of oh my God, Kanye is so brilliant. I need him on my show. Right. No. 
They wanted He's fucking mind comping his way into the fucking they grave. They wanted right? him on the show to, to have him say some more crazy fucking shit for views. Right, like uh, the interview with Seth Rogen and right. uh, James Franco. Eminem's gay on our show. Like, <gasps> on right. our show! Right? Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. Now everyone's going to watch right. it and check you us out. You can't believe everything that... it's a, a Part of it is your shtick. Like, like the, you know, cats out of the bag. Like, that's part of the thing. That's yeah. how you get views. That's how you become popular or known. Mm. You have to... That's how you get... I'm sh Look, I'm sure there's some truth to what he's saying, but to lay it out like that blatant, yeah. Right. He's trying to be funny. All he's right. trying to cause, you know, people like you to be like, this guy's insane. It fucking works, he's man. He's insensitive. Oh. He's a piece of shit. Fuck that guy. I, I'm sure he did rape everybody, yeah? It does make me feel that way. All right. Now, go ahead and guess. Was this Andrew Tate or somebody else? I go out and fuck, and I come back to her, and I don't care about her. And I only love my girl. It's not cheating. It's exercise. That was somebody else. That was Andrew Tate. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, that one was Andrew Tate. I know. That, that's pretty brutal. Um, yeah, I. you know, that's another funny thing. I like when he goes, yeah, a guy can cheat, but a woman can't. That's what I mean. It's just how about like, this? Are you how trying about, to piss how people about, off? How about no, yes, one, how about no one cheat? Right. The behavior that? is shitty, no matter if you're a man, woman... Then don't get in a relationship. Then just be friends with benefits. That's cool. Very true. Very or whatever. True. If you're a 55 kilo female, I will pick you up with one hand by your titty. Was that Andrew Tate or somebody else? Fuck it. It was Andrew Tate. That was Andrew Tate! <laughs> hey! I was trying to throw some salt in the game. I was trying to, I was trying to really... Uh, okay. <laughs> See, but that was kind of funny. Right? That was it was I mean, kind of a it's stupid, but Come it's on, like a little thing. Yeah, it's, it's funny. All right. Uh, a society in which women are taught anything but the management of a family, the care of men, and the creation of the future generation is a society which is on its way out. The historian can peg the point where a society begins its sharpest decline at the instant when women begin to take part. I'm going to say not Tate. Not Tate. That was Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. Great man. Yeah, apparently he He's was a big run. fan of the ladies. He's on the run. Apparently huge fan. Um, I'm not a misogynist. I respect any woman who Tate. knows her place. That's Tate all That day. is Stephen Brathwaite. Oh, wow. Sorry, that, not Andrew that just, Tate. That just I sounded know. Tate right off the I know, back. right? The, the, I'm not a misogynist, but right. I won't say anything. <laughs> but. They need to stay in the house and fucking, right. you know. The second you say but, that negates Everything <laughs> that came up, like when someone apologizes to you, like I'm sorry, but the second that happens, you're not sorry. You're about to justify your reason, right. which means you yeah. rationalized it in I, your head. I'm, you're not I'm, sorry. I'm you're I'm just guilty. saying I'm it. Guilty I, of I am it. too. Yep. I feel a lot of us are. Yep. But just as long as we're aware of it, that's all we really need to know. Okay, how can I use these women to make me money? I don't want to put them on the track because they're my women. I don't want other people touching my chicks. That might be Tate, but no, no, it's not Final Tate because I've heard him. I've heard him say that about his friends, but not chicks. So I'm gonna say not Tate. That was Tate. That was, yeah, uh, that was Tate. That was Tate. So then maybe who knows? I mean, because I've heard, I've heard him say that about his friends. Like he's only gonna have friends that like outside of his family that can help contribute. Like, oh, to making them better and doesn't right. want anyone else kind of poisoning, sullying the waters right. of that. Right, doesn't want, like, le people to leech off of, like, that sort of thing. Well, right. Are we going to build off each other or are you just, right. you know, sucking so, at the yeah. tea while the ride's good? Yeah. Um, a proper wife should be as obedient as a slave. Tate. The female is a female by virtue of a certain lack of qualities, a natural defectiveness. Yeah, Tate. That's Tate. That was Aristotle. What? Holy shit. The then again, Aristotle also thought that we were a geocentric universe, look, and it took Galileo look, to turn honest. the tide on I'm that. I'm going It's not like I don't sit and watch, fucking binge watch Andrew Tate. I but just... that's what I'm saying. It's difficult to tell the difference between... That's what I mean. It's hard to feel like it's a shtick sometimes when a lot of this shit seems like it's him, because when you say that shit enough, it's almost like... Well, the reason you pick this way... Is I feel at his core, he does feel that way. He always says he's speaking truth. Now, it's his truth, mind you, but he's always like, I'm just telling the truth. So, 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 what, I've, so truth. what I've gathered is like the way he views women is, is how, it's, how it has been throughout time. 
how the right. woman has her role. All this tradition. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let Good. me. So that, that's the way that he views it. The woman has her role. The man has his role. There's differences, but they balance and work each other out. Mm -hmm. And we have a history of that, right? right? Well, so now we're in this new, new way of thinking to where the roles are trying to, like the women are trying to swap roles. And, but we have no evidence or, or anything to go back on to if this is going to work or not. Yeah, we never gave so, it a shot. So, well, I mean, again... I mean, he has referenced all those things and the Bible and the Quran, you know, that's... Oh, he's, mm -hmm. he's in the Muslim, bro. Yeah, he's isn't that he, fucking wonderful? Yeah, yeah. We know how they treat women in those cultures. Right. Um, but... Uh, when you're looking at all that, and he's like, traditionally throughout time, look at all the historic texts and everything like that. I'm like, yeah, because in those times, only men can read and write. Everything was controlled by them. So, of course, everything it's going to... Everything was built by right. men. It's, it's always going to point towards that kind of a thing. And, yes, that also is a pretty decent point as well that you bring up there. But, yeah, like, like these bitches that... And, listen, a lot of these women are bitches, I will say. Like, when they go, we don't need no man... Well, kind of do. It's a double negative. You need us to teach you mansplain the grammar no, properly. No, no, it, it, it's it's not like you know. Here's the thing. I, like, but like I said, I get what Tate's saying when it comes to traditional, like like how it used to be, where mm -hmm. a woman would stay home because you know they could take care of the house, take care of the kids, whatever. Listen, and that's fine. You want to be a boss bitch too. Like, good for you. So then, guess what? Because we both like that, the hustler that's going right. to push but, us, but then, too, to right. go with Ex them. Exactly. But then, guess what? When it comes to the check coming to the table, guess what? You treat me out, too. Like you. I would like, appreciate like, that. Then don't... Then that has happened, too. I'm not saying that women have it, not done that it for is, me. It is, it's rare. It is rare, rare like a fucking unicorn, yes. dude. <laughs> it is fucking rare. I'm just saying. Matt Walsh said a perfect thing. All women are feminists until the check comes. Oh, is he? F I mean, yeah. it's it, it's hard for me to fucking argue with that. So again, you could be a boss bitch all day and do whatever the fuck, but you know, it 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 comes with a price, bud. Just like just like if you were out to dinner with a guy that you know does really well, right? Right. All of a sudden, can't find his no, fucking wallet. No, or, no. or 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 just expect. Or you gonna take care of that? Like, really? Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of sort of, the, you know, if you know you're, you're a chick and you took her out five times before, you know she's, you know she's making good money, she can't treat you out at least one time or something? Right. And I've heard a lot of couples that do, like, they, it's, it's like a trade-off kind of thing, like, you know, she's got this, this time, I'll get this this time, or a joint thing, which is also nice, like if he paid for dinner, and then they go out and get ice cream at another place, she pays for the dessert. Right. Mind you, the dessert does cost cheaper, and you don't have to tip the fucking ice cream person, but all right, all that shit aside, I get what you're saying, because I have I had both happen, where I've had a woman basically expect me to be the one doing all the things, and I gotta be honest with you, I don't like all that responsibility. Right. And Andrew Tate would probably call me a pussy. That's fine. He does too. You are what you eat. Like I always say. And at the same time, I do also feel like women bring something to the table that I'm not looking at. Because we are so different and we think differently and we're focused on different things and interested in different things. That they're going to offer me a fresh perspective on how they're viewing it. And then when I, because I'm empathetic sometimes to a fault, I'm putting myself in their position, like in my brain, literally, like I'm imagining my whole life as you and what that's like kind of thing. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, well, maybe I should change some of this to make this a bit more agreeable. Look but at men, by, you know, nature look, are typically disagreeable. Look at it as, as a business, okay? You're putting you're putting your time and effort into something. Are you getting a return back? So listen, and either in either way, you have to figure out a role when you're in a relationship, right? So listen, that's fine if you want me to take care of every every pay for all the dinners, take care of of everything. Like okay, well then you better then 
I need something in return. So what I know, want in return is gonna be nasty. Or it can be that, <laughs> but support, That's all I want but, but supportive. Right. Um, there for me emotionally. Right. You know, if if then you're living, if you're staying at home, taking care of the kids, taking care of the house. That I want to fucking, you know, then don't get, you know, don't be on me of not doing the dishes. That Well, you know, you need to do that because mm -hmm. if I'm, if I'm working, if I'm paying for all this stuff and you're staying, you know what I mean? There right. has to be a fucking balance. If you're balance. just chilling and I'm, right. and, there has and then to I kind of come home and do more work after right. working to pay for all the stuff exactly. that we're living in. There has in. to be a balance and that's not saying, oh, that's what all women need to be. No, I'm not no, saying that. No. But... As you know, what what kind of woman do you want to be? If that's the role that you want to be on, well, then just know that you know that you know if you want the man to fucking pay for everything, take care of everything, all that. Well, then you need to take care of him personally. You know, a little eh, 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 okay. Then, but then you gotta take care of the house, do all that shit. See, that's why I'm down with somewhat of that little transition, right. this new thing we're trying to do, where they're trying to do what. Men have done for a long time. Right. Because what have I been preaching this whole time? Stay at home, Dad. I will cook, clean, do all that fucking shit. I'm about right. it too. Exactly. I'm Let's go, ladies. I'm on your side. I'm about it too. But like wow. I said, you 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 know there has to. But be... you yeah, you're gonna have to pay for everything. Sorry. I'll eat your pussy, but you're gonna have to pay for everything. But that's what I'm saying. I mean, there, on command. There you has could, to be. You could go for a fucking marathon and then come back, yeah, there... not shower, and be like. Now, there, I'll, I'll there have has, to do it. I'll there has to, to be it. a balance. There's a yin That's and fair. yang. There's roles. There's an alpha and a beta. That's just what it is. And yeah, if you want to stay at home and be a beta and have her... Fu that, that's cool. I'm Listen... I, I've been Staying working... at home does not make you a beta no, if you're being a homemaker and caring for the house. As a dude, yeah. It comes oh, out. As a dude, okay. it is. It is. It's because it I'm is. smarter. It's the it smart is. move. Man, I'd be kicking back laughing at all you guys. Like, you want to go to work? How's work? <laughs> That's fine to an extent. But I think no matter how much women want to change men or whatever, there's still some... We still have that ambitious... There's still some attraction to where they like a man to be a fucking Takes man. charge, yep. They do. So you can ride Any that... Any girl person. I've ever had, like, I've been, like, like literally enraged... Not even at them, just about a thing or at someone else. And they see that, there is still that reaction in them. Like, their hormones start flooding, their face gets flushed. Like, they're turned on, and then we go home. That's why makeup sex is great. It's fucking, it's fucking wild. Yeah, it's like almost like I gotta put my fucking foot down and discipline you. Like a fucking... God, I sound like Andrew Tate. Like I said... Recycle your pizza boxes! Like I said, a lot of shit he says, you go... He's not fucking wrong. I'm just saying. I'm not saying well, he's perfect. No, nobody is. Nobody not, is. He, right. And I'm not saying he should be a fucking role model because I'm sure he's done shady shit. But yeah, we all kind of have. It just hasn't come to light, right? But he spe He but he speaks fucking man language, dude. Mm. It's what it is. Weirdly enough. Well, we'll see how this unfolds, whether uh, these allegations stick, if any evidence does come out. They'll either be in jail out. or doing stand-up with Bill Cosby. Either or. <laughs> oh joke, joke's God. on us. That's really what it boils down to. I, that should be the name of the tour. Joke's on us. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it would be joke's on you. Joke's on you. As oh, the audience, because yes. when I mean jokes are yeah. on us, I mean us people. Gotcha. So the show would be joke's, jokes on you. Joke's on you. <laughs> Till next time, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.